Man, I love making videos and... What is this, 2400 PSI? All right, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel and today is gonna to be a little different video We are gonna be doing some things we got to do fuel filters and oil change on the Cummins and Also add some coolant and clean it just do some maintenance. We got some extra time on our hands today and Also, I got some new tools which I'm super excited for which I needed because I have a craftsman set um, I'm actually cleaning the box because it got drenched in hydraulic fluid got to clean it all up uh, but that set is going to stay in the ram and the uh, new tools right there gear wrench are going to be for the shop because you know i had to go in the truck get the tools put them back take them forget them in the shop like i needed them actually i was helping my brother out the other day with his semi and i forgot the tools in the shop so just keep them in the truck and that'll be a lot easier and also picking up the exhaust from the local atv shop uh, for the renegade that needed to get um, some modifications done to it that might be in a different video and also do a walk around of the 450 um a couple of you guys have been asking and also i just wanted you guys to know what the truck is and you know you guys seen it before in videos but i never went into detail you know what it is and stuff like that so yeah there's a bunch of other stuff we got to do today so let's get going turn on the lights all right guys so the first thing we're gonna do is the uh, fuel filters uh, never done them before on the Ram 2020 3500 high output the whole nine so um, I think this is the back filter there's two of them there's one in the back and then there's one in the front on the motor so I had to run down to the store and buy a 20 28 millimeter sockets because I think that's what fits on there and the only one they had was the 12 point but I think I'm gonna go online and order the gear wrench they actually make one that's not like chrome, it's coated with something, and uh, it's actually a six point, which is a little better if you're gonna put torque on something, so let's get started. All right guys, so I kinda got ahead of myself, and I started unscrewing the fuel filter, which is down there, and a bunch of fuel came out, and went everywhere. But then I stopped and did some more research, and realized that you gotta unscrew this thing on the filter, one of those uh, funnels in there with a straw, and it goes from there into that into a drain thing. So one thing I've learned so far on the oil changes and the fuel filter changes, everything's harder on the Cummins. Way more simpler on the power stroke. Yeah, there's more room to work on stuff, but the way it's designed. All right, so just finished up the fuel filters. Um, the one in the engine, I mean, they're both easy to do, but the one in the engine is kind of located where you kind of have to reach down into it to take it in, take it out. It's simple to do but it's not in the very most accessible area. And then the one on the bottom, that right there, that's the fuel filter. And it has like a little drain thing right there, which is you have to open it and it drains, but it's gonna start falling on the, on the uh, drive shaft. So you gotta hold like a funnel with a straw, a tube that goes into the, um, some kind of a drain pan. I use my oil pan, just drain it all in there. Overall, in general, it's pretty easy to do. So, all right, next step is going to be oil change. You go and just unscrew it. Pretty simple. The only thing I don't like is that it's underneath, which kind of makes it makes it dirty. Just got to be quick. Bam. Well, while that's draining, we're gonna do the oil filter. And last time I used this tool, which worked fine, but wasn't the best. So I picked up this guy right here. It was not very expensive. And I wanna find what the best way is to, and the most simplest way, because I know you could take the air filter off and do it that way, but I don't really wanna do that route. And if you ever done an oil change on the rams, the fuel filter is right there. I already have a couple of turns on it, but it's working. It's actually easier than that other one because you don't have to reset this one like the, the ratchet. Sometimes it falls out like I mentioned and this one's working pretty good, pretty happy. All right guys, so this is the other tools that I had. They were usually in that container and they were in the toolbox in the 450 and hydraulic fluid or some brake fluid, something spilled and all these suckers were drenched in like fluid. 
like you can see they're all rusty so we got purple powder started spraying it and you know that that's just gonna take all day so we're just gonna send it there you go i don't know if this is a good idea i'm just gonna leave them like that overnight it's actually purple leave it like that overnight let it sit and hopefully um tomorrow in the morning i will come back and uh rinse them and wash it and they're gonna be sparkly clean all right turn on the light all right well welcome back again i mean i know it's the same video but i haven't filmed for a little more than a few days i mean i was busy work family things you know how life we get and let's do another rundown some tools we got to talk about some new stuff that i finally got and then the truck and the trailer are the dirtiest they ever been since i ever had them and also tools some oh talking about washing the equipment i got something for that which i'm excited gotta try it out and also the exhaust is back check that out and unfortunately i can't ride the quad because i had to send the ecu out to wicked performance in louisiana so that they could retune the engine because it runs a little hot but that's a separate video i'm probably missing some of the stuff that i gotta say oh yeah there's some tools that we gotta organize so let's get going all right so the first tool if you want to call it that we're going to talk about is throw that away yes sir look at that super foam that's going to be for the foam cannon uh what else a wheel cleaner and then let me set the camera down uh bug and tar remover tire cleaner interior cleaner detail spray and a bunch of these for the bottles the sprayers and then gloss dressing and also this is what i'm very excited about dudes look at that foam cannon i always wanted one of these finally got one i've seen this one in action and it throws a heck of a sweet foam especially with this super foam and i know i didn't really have to buy i mean it, it was on sale okay and also i kind of want to have everything from the same brand you know if it's gonna be cleaning products same brand like i got brake fluid over there and it's all the same brand mostly there's a new brand i'm trying out and just tools or df over there on the bottom I just like when everything matches for some reason. It kind of throws me off because I want to really organize this place, which I'm super excited. Eventually, I want to have shelves that are enclosed, like those are open, um, but eventually I want to get some that are closed off. So when you come in here, nothing's here. You know, it pops to the floor, but that's a separate video. So yeah, look at that. I am excited for all this new stuff. There's some gear wrench stuff we're gonna look into in a bit. Tecton torque wrench man i need one of those because every single time i'm bolting something down either on the four-wheeler or on the truck i feel like i'm going to either break it when i'm driving or when uh it's not tight enough so that's something that's necessary and there's another one coming like that bigger but we'll get into that up. so let's start washing well i don't know if you guys ever seen my pressure washer right there i actually picked it up for I think it was like 70 bucks from one of my neighbors that was moving to a different state and um, before we get carried away too much ugh, I'm actually looking at getting an electrical one let me know if it's worth this is a what is this 2400 psi and what does it do per oh two and a half gallons per minute five horsepower Honda engine but it doesn't feel like it feels more like a 1500 psi I don't know maybe something is going out if you guys know let me know because I don't really want to spend the money on a, another one, but because I mean this one I got six, seven years ago, it works great, except it doesn't feel as strong. So I don't know, maybe there's something I gotta replace. All right, let me show you how dirty this truck is. Look at all of that. Man. Look at the mirrors. Whoo. That's just, what, well, a week and a half? I guess it depends on where you're driving. New sticker also for the truck. Put it out here on the side. I think it looks pretty good.
that is pretty impressive. Look at that. Dude, it lays it down thick. All right, well, the truck is pretty much clean, and I don't really spend too much time detailing it because of how much miles I put on it in a week, but it's still nice to have it nice and clean. Looks way, way better. So, trailer's next. A couple of you guys over on Instagram said use the Purple Power. Um, that's what I've been using before, but I've never used it on this application. I've just been cleaning my tools with it, and some of you guys suggested Simple Green. So I think what we're gonna do is Throw the purple power on one side, simple green on the other side, and um, see which one works better. Put it in the comments below what you guys think, because I'm pretty interested. perfect which is fine because i'm not going to be doing the whole trailer today but for what it is this stuff works great got the truck back in the shop put the trailer back i don't know if it's either me or the soap but this truck is looking so much better i probably got used to how dirty it is but dude the effortless washing was crazy and also i missed some bugs on the mirror right here before when i was pressure washing and then I used that new bug and tar remover stuff. Man, I was impressed on how well it works. I'm gonna start using it every time. I just sprayed it on the mirror and left it on there for 30 seconds, went around, did it on the other side, came back while the other side was soaking in and just wiped it off. The flies, the bugs literally just fell off. Um, yeah, so let's put the truck back and get to the tools. All right, well, got all the cleaning products on the cleaning shelf. Looks pretty good, I'd say. And then the other shelf on the bottom is WD-40, brake fluid, paint, whatever, uh, for the Can-Am filter cleaner. More miscellaneous things, but let's get to the tools, because I've wanted one of these torque wrenches for a long, long time. Open it up real fast. Guys down. All right, I like this. I like this case. There we go. Wow, looks pretty good. Looks like a pretty good quality tool. Has some weight to it. It's not too big, that's why I got two of them. I think this one's 80 to um, 10 pounds, and then the other one that's coming is I think 10 to 250 or something for like trailer and uh, tire lugs and all those kind of things, because I do not want to risk breaking the stud that's just gonna cause so much problems it's just way easier this way and i think this thing was like 40 bucks and they had a lot of good reviews so we're gonna put that to the test pretty soon really excited for it nice little case all right that could go garbage all right well this is a gear wrench 249 or 239 piece uh, set and I am excited for this one because my craftsman set you guys seen earlier I was washing I think I washed it a little bit too much at least it's not greasy and oily I just gotta wash off all this soapiness I rinsed it off with water but that has to get washed put in the truck but this set is awesome because my brothers brought over or my brother brought over his set when I was, we were working on the four-wheeler and having the right tool for the job is important. All the extensions and things that that set had, I was like, you know what, I need to go get me one because I was trying to repair the four-wheeler and put the exhaust on with the Craftsman set that just didn't have enough stuff. You can't reach anything. So this one has 
Look at this big old extension for half inch. So all the stuff up top is half inch, 12 point. So the reason why I went with 12 point is because I got on Amazon and everywhere where I looked when I was ordering, they were out of six point. I was looking for that one, but based on my experience, I've never ran into any issues with 12 point. It's actually a lot easier to, you know, cause you don't have to have it set at the right spot cause this has a lot more options and just, it works fine with me. And if I'm ever gonna need a six point, I'll just order, like for example, if I'm using a half inch, I need some six points, I'll just order that. It'll come in, I'll use it. So all this is half inch, and I love how it has this swivel thing. Awesome, and then it has you know, all the reducers and different extensions. This is an 84 tooth. I know they have a 90 and a 120 um, tooth, but 84 is perfect. I mean, that's awesome. I've already used it on the four wheeler and I'm really impressed with it. So half inch stuff up here goes up all the way to a inch and a half and down to, what is this? Uh, three eighths, 10 milliliter. Um, so I like it. And then open this up. All the quarter inch stuff, also 84 tooth comes with a screwdriver and it has SAE, I think that's what it's called, and the uh, millimeter ones. And uh, three eighths, the three eighths ratchets up here, but all the stuff is right here. One inch, two quarter inch, six mil, two eight, 19 mil. All Ooh, that was loud. All right, seven, Put everything back. Um, but perfect set then these uh, wrenches are not you know what the gear wrench is famous for these are just the standard ones which is fine because I have a pretty big set I lost a couple of them I think on 5 16 or 5 8 whatever I lost nope 5 8 right here uh, but this has to get cleaned and organized and put into that uh, big black toolbox and I was thinking, should I keep them all in here? Or should I, cause see how the shelf comes out? Take it out and carry it down to this toolbox. Open it up, throw it in here. Bam, just to have all the tools in here. Or I'm just thinking I'm gonna take that box and put it up top. And then when I get six points and other tools, cause obviously we're gonna add a bunch of tools in the future, I could just keep them in there. I think that's what I'm going to go with. That's just an option that we could do. Um, just to kind of keep them all together. But I'm pretty happy with this tool set. Pretty freaking happy. And locks up. Closes. Bam. Alright, well there's a couple more things we got to do. We got to clean and organize the gear wrench set. Put them in the toolbox. And then the, the ram set needs to get cleaned. But that's going to be it for this video. I think I'm going to do all those things later. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's just always something to do. We gotta do a walk around with the Ford. I think I'm gonna do that compared to the Ram because you know, so that way you could kind of see the frame, the brakes, and all those stuff. Look out for that video, man. I love making videos, and it's just something that I enjoy. And I think in the near future, I'm gonna have a lot more time to do that to do to do to make the videos. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys like, what you guys want to see, what your experiences with tools are, because I really like engaging with you guys, and like always, have a blessed day, and we'll see you on the next one.